In every station of life, you will find amusements, relaxations, and enjoyments. That is, provided you be willing to make light of evils rather than to hate them. Knowing to what sorrows we were born, there is nothing for which nature more deserves our thanks than for having invented habit as an alleviation of misfortune, which soon accustoms us to the severest evils. We are all chained to fortune. Some men's chain is loose and made of gold. That of others is tight and of meaner metal. But what difference does this make? We are all included in the same captivity, and even those who have bound us are bound themselves, unless you think a chain on the left side is lighter to bear. One man may be bound by public office, another by wealth. Some are subject to the commands of others, some only to their own. All life is slavery. Let each man therefore reconcile himself to his lot. Complain of it as little as possible and lay hold of whatever good lies within his reach. No condition can be so wretched that an impartial mind can find no compensations in it. Call good sense to your aid against difficulties. It is possible to soften what is harsh, to widen what is too narrow, and to make heavy burdens press less severely upon one who bears them skillfully. We must leave alone things which either cannot come to pass or can only be affected with difficulty. And follow after such things as are near at hand and within reach of our hopes, always remembering that all things are equally unimportant, and that though they have a different outward appearance, they are all alike, empty within. Neither let us envy those who are in high places. The heights which look lofty to us are steep and rugged. Again, those whom unkind fate has placed in critical situations will be safer if they show a little pride in their proud positions as may be, and do all they are able to bring down their fortunes to the level of other men's. Yet nothing sets us free from these alternations of hope and fear so well as always fixing some limits to our successes, and not allowing fortune to choose when to stop our career, but to halt of our own accord, long before we apparently need do so. By acting thus, certain desires will rouse up our spirits, and yet being confined within bounds, will not lead us to embark on vast and vague enterprises. <laughs>